Hey guys, welcome back. Earth signs, <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it does not fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And if you get offended by my dirty talk, just find your way out of Rita. At that point, come again another day. Tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation. If you'd like to book a read with me, just go uh, over to rootsandrewards.com or Venmo Jesse Ray 21. Okay, so you're moving, you're traveling, you're getting out of being stuck. Uh, you are protecting yourself here. All right, my music's starting to play. I keep looking over here because. The Wi-Fi is a little slow over here. All right, so you could be uh, dealing with a cancer also. But we're going to see. Let's see what's up with the earth signs in the next week or so. So there is definitely movement in whatever you're trying to do. I just saw the Eight of Wands moving towards being independent, uh, becoming abundant on your own. Very transformative time for you. All right. So you're realizing that you can do things on your own, that you're really not stuck, that you can move away from any situation that is not feeling um, valuable to you. All right. Let's see. What's up? Yeah, you're definitely coming out of the illusions. Oh, here's a card over here. Coming out of the illusions and really understanding your strength and Understanding that you need to move forward and move on to some uh, limited beliefs or some people that have held you back. You could be dealing with a Leo or Cancer energy. You're gaining up the courage. You're being bold. You're taking immediate action. You're moving quickly. So you guys could be traveling like I am. Right now I'm in California. That's why things are a little different. Um, but there is definitely you moving you could be moving to a different location traveling or just moving away from these limited beliefs these false narratives that you guys have been telling yourselves all right now as far as partnership let's see is there anything going on in partnership for the uh the earth signs you don't have to be an earth sign for it to resonate the found it just may be for you see you guys when it comes to partnership, or this could just be you uh, on your own. When it comes to partnership or you looking at yourself, some of you guys have been replaying some, some sabotaging thoughts or you're allowing people to have judgment on you, taking on criticism and heavy insecurity here about what you're going after. Maybe you're second guessing yourself. Maybe people, you feel rejected by people because they're not seeing your vision. They don't uh, understand where you're, you're going or what you're trying to do in your life. And I feel like this is the illusions that you're coming out of. Like this is, this is ending this way of thinking. You know, the ego, some of you guys may be having a little bit of an ego death, dropping the old you and saying, okay, it's time to progress forward. Uh, you're getting ready to go into a healthy partnership, possibly with the twin flame. It doesn't have to be. Don't hold too tightly to that. But just a partnership that is healthy for you. All right, what is this partnership, this four of wands? I just saw the devil card. So there's going to be a lot of um, passion and celebrations. Uh, with this person you could be meeting this person out drinking having a good time maybe even going on a hike you'll meet this person let's see what's this partnership here that's going on here partnership Ooh. all right you guys are going into a soulmate union here soulmate union after you guys were uh, very much disappointed with maybe the past relationship that you were in uh, were you just feeling emotionally unstable 
you're coming into a happier time, a happier partnership here. You may have telepathy with this person. You feel very energetically uh, pulled to them, or you will be feeling uh, very energetically pulled to this person if you haven't met this person yet. Could be a cancer. Yeah, you're rolling away from that conflict, being in your head, all the emotions uh, of other people, of your own self-sabotage. So this partnership, what's this partnership here? Partnership, a judgment call is being made. Let's see what that's about. What's that judgment call? What is the judgment call that the earth signs are making? To communicate truthfully and clear with people. Maybe you're making a judgment call to cut some some behaviors off or some people off that are in your life. Yeah, coming out of this uh, crossroads. Who's this person coming in? For the earth signs. Or whoever's who are already in. Alright. So it looks like you guys are just waiting looking off to the distance and saying okay when is my love life going to evolve when is it going to come around when is someone going to come and emotionally invest in me and prioritize me and fill me up make me feel good i think you guys have been searching for your own stability your own emotional stability and keeping a, a watchful eye on yourself and how you feel while exploring um different people to see what you like and what you don't like what you're going to put up with what you're not going to put up with it looks like you're not going to be putting up with and a manipulator someone that's trying to control every action that you're doing control you know where you're going who you're filling into or who's filling into you you're not dealing with a master manipulator here so you may be turning your back away from a very controlling uh narcissistic type of person here you do have that emotional beginning though, guys. You're gonna feel loved up when this new person comes in. They come in balance. They're not here to keep you stuck in any type of way. Yeah, I just saw the hangman in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse. So they're not gonna be burdening you. Yeah, what did I say? Hangman in reverse. You're no longer gonna be shackled to your situation. You're no longer gonna be shook of all your your good feel fucking energy or your pentacles or your kind will you're not allowing people to to bind you to to bind you to them you're not binded to any cir circumstances so you guys are releasing some unhealthy attachments with the moon energy there maybe you guys have been hiding hiding away from what you've been dealing with or who you truly are but there's that Wheel of Fortune that keeps on coming back. I shuffled it back in and it came back out. So you do have some abundance coming in. You could be coming into some fortune, some money. But this is also saying that you're closing out cycles that made you feel drained out. Very negative and defeated. And you're going towards a brighter time in your life more happiness is coming in there's this person that is charging in to romance you to love you up this person feels that you are someone that they want to go after they have a lot of passion for you they like the passion that you hold in your hands they like that you have a burning desire to uh, move forward and and gain abundance and and better yourself here this person has seen you uh uh, grow from dealing with thieves dealing with deceptive people this person automatically as soon as they meet you they're gonna know that you've had a lot of um not so good people around you or taking from you and this person is different than these people that you've dealt with in the past i do feel like they they do have their armor on. This person feels like a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with so much cancer out here and the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is a water sign and I keep seeing water splashing waves and stuff. 
Um, so I feel like this person is very, you know, the moon card doesn't always necessarily need, need to be sneaky and things hiding, but this could just be a very emotional person that allows their emotions to build up and they, they could have people, this person may have people take advantage of their emotions. So I think this person possibly has been through similar situations like you have. You may connect with wolves. This person wants victory, wanting to take that leap of faith and that risk uh, to see where it goes to see where it goes with you. It's like a fool in love. A fool in love. But they get good energy from you. They want a commitment. They feel like you've elevated or you're elevating and you just have this, this shine about you and this wisdom. This person feels that if they leap towards you, they'll become wiser and better. So you're pushing this person to elevate to get to their higher self and really make changes yeah i just saw the world card so that's the traveling and this the closing out cycles that no longer suit your higher purpose Let's see releasing that burden no longer holding that that conflict no longer having this person def defeat you and knock you down to your knees this person uh, that you're dealing with or were dealing with, they really made you second guess your worth, doubt yourself, doubt your goals. This person doesn't like to see you elevate, this person here. They don't like to see you ele elevate because they're not feeling elevated. They're suppressing with drugs and alcohol, people, you know, this person is sabotaging themselves and in return they were sabotaging you and the connection so this doesn't work for you this energy doesn't work for you because this is where you're going or where you're at you're strong you're caring for yourself you're loving on yourself you're taking risk you're trying to stay light-hearted you're going after your victory and you're gaining your your uh hold on you're gaining your peace and comfort and finances and a partnership look at all that good shit there got a lot of good cards coming out and all these cards together is just letting me know that everything is working in your favor it just may take a little bit of time to get there but i think you guys are going to be feeling really good within yourself and within this uh partnership that you're coming into let's see yeah somebody was wearing a mask you were fooled by this person they weren't showing their true feelings they were hiding they were pretending and they were gaslighting you so bad behavior on that person and you may have even put a mask on to hide the fact that you are tolerating this shit from this person yeah you are heartbroken this person broke you down so much separation breakup feeling lost grieving and mourning deeply hurt this person really did a number on you guys and you might have hid that from the world like acting like okay the relationship is all good and you're happy and meanwhile in the background you're hiding and you're sad and you're you're crying and you're depressed and you're on you're on the point of breaking you you got to your breaking point with this person but now you're ascending what is this card shouldn't be in there i want you baby is in reverse so you're not you're not trying to go back to this person cassette oh outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head yeah you're no longer dealing uh overthinking about what once was you're not replaying this person may be the cassette tape they may be replaying shit that you just don't want to talk about anymore that you're fucking over it 
fucking over it. They're a karmic partner. They're just giving you, they're just treating, they, they, they're mistreating you, they're triggering you. They're putting you into turmoil. They fleet, they come in, they, they come in cutting and then they fleet from you. Resentment there, you know, lessons, you're learning lessons with this person, but you're letting them go and you're loving you at this point. Really nice. So you're coming up super strong. This person was constantly running away from you. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. What, I, what did I say? What did I say? Not acceptable. You were giving your all to this person, and they were just giving you shit. The bottom of the barrel, so hammering it down. They were sabotaging it. You were sabotaging yourself here with the repetitive um, thinking that this person wants to become better. You were persistent with this person and you were working on it for a very long time. But now you're running. You've turned into the runner now. Good, you're taking that sailboat out. You're running away. You're listening to your intuition and you're progressing forward and you're arriving where you're needing to be. You're gaining your closure, no longer dealing with, you may have been in a narcissistic empath uh, paradigm. Uh, you were being used and charmed. And this person overstepped your boundaries many, many times. And uh, you're just taking a chance. You're taking a risk on just jumping into the unknown. Now you're being more strategic and you're not going to be showing your whole hand of cards to anybody. Coffee talk. You're going to be conversating with a lot of new people. This new friendship that's coming in, it feels like... It could be a friendship at first, and then it turns into something more than that. Uh, you guys are learning one another, and you're not jumping too quickly because, you know, you don't want to be impulsive, and you don't want to get yourself into some shit. So you, you're moving into things slowly, even though the full card is there. You're taking the risk, but you're not being impulsive because you don't want anybody to burden you. Or put heavy heavy weight on you or you know break your heart so it's gonna be you know a slow build up with this person what would your past person like to say that they're unable to say sorry I'm rushing this I, I have to go down to Hollywood Boulevard uh, nice and slow what did I say what did I just say I know my shit I know the way I feel and you guys are coming into this knowing of how you feel and what is feeling right for your heart and for your head if you know that somebody is coming off sneaky and hiding and deceptive and they every time they're with you they make you feel like this they make you feel like this you know now not to continue on to cut a bitch off immediately immediately one little inkling that th this little red flag, you know, someone pulling away from you, yeah, they're all for you and they're emotionally given to you one day and then they're fucking pull it all back the next day. You cut the bitch off real quick because we're not doing that. We're not playing games. We're not chasing. We're not looking for validation any longer from somebody that isn't even feeling valid in, the, in their own energy. So they're projecting all these insecurities and toxicity and traumas onto you. But now you're understanding you're, you don't have to take this load on. You don't have to take this person's load on. We can have our traumas, but we don't need to take other people's traumas onto us. Really nice. Let's see. New person. Needs a drink. You guys need to... Uh, drink more more water coconut oil all right they may want to massage you nice and slow caress every point of your on your body every inch every inch of you magnetic connection there that's what goes with the soulmate soulmate card having that telepathy just really feeling very comfortable with one another immediately like immediate connection you guys feel peaceful with one another and that's how the relationship should feel you should you know 
beginning of a relationship, middle of a relationship, you should continue to feel comfortable and loved and feeling protected and safe and secure in your partner's energy. I'm waiting on you. So this person, if you haven't met this person or, you know, things haven't progressed, this person is waiting on you to conquer some of your emotional instability that you've had. All right, this is the last card here. Okay, last three cards. Twin flame, we said that. You could also be leaving someone that you thought was a twin flame, but is actually a karmic partner. Uh, slowly unzip my pants so the sexual buildup is gonna take some time between the two of you but yeah I want to slip your panties to the side and go munching on your wrist and see how soft your pussy is <laughs> or how hard your cock gets so look in my eyes this person's gonna have beautiful eyes uh, they're going to make sure when they speak to you that you guys are having that eye contact so they can really connect with your soul. I feel like this person is definitely in their spiritual spirituality or religion or their moral compass, all right? Um, meaning meaning this, this person invests in themselves. They love themselves. So when you love yourself, you project out love to, to others. And that's how this partnership is going to have um, stability and happiness and victory is going to be taken. Because you're both very much alike in the sense that you care for yourself and you're, you're caring for other people. So you get what you give. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation i do appreciate all likes donations and kind words you give me on a daily basis my roots and rewards jesse ray account is suspended at the moment so i'm unable to see messages comments sharing liking i can't see any of it any of it so head over to my two new accounts roots and rewards jesse Roots and Rewards, Jess on TikTok. I'm also on Instagram. Roots and Rewards, I'm on Facebook. Uh, I also start, started a podcast on Spotify with these reads. You could listen to them over on Spotify on your way to work. Um, I'm gonna start adding some new stuff. I'm, you know, I'm putting together some ideas in my head. I am also a real estate agent in New Jersey with One Stop Realty Shop. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or rent, I could help you with that. If you're looking for out-of-state referral agent, I could help you with that also. All right, guys. Keep yourself in high regard. And I will see you next week. I'll be back home. And, uh, yeah, it's looking good for you. I'm waiting on you. Bye, guys.